Hi folks, Ray speaking here. I've got another idea. This one is to do with handles of brooms, shovels, hose, anything really. You know a lot of the ones you buy from a store, they've got a straight grain in them like this. The ones I use are different. They're made from hazel. This I went and harvested from the forest, old hazel branches. From where I come from, you can get them, which is New Zealand and Australia, that in neck of the woods, they even use manuka or tea tree, which is really strong. Same with hazel. What you do with this stuff is, is you take the bark off first before you use it. And the reason you take the bark off is because if you leave the bark on, insects lay their eggs underneath and larvae eat into the wood and it weakens it. So here is a piece of hazel farmer friend of mine came in and I saw his hoe was broken. So I thought, I'll fix it. So I found my piece of hazel, took the bark off and I tapered it down. I found the right way for it to sit so that it would be nice and easy to hoe with. I then put it on here. Now when you put a handle on, you don't smack it on the end like that, you just watch this. All I have to do is this. Come down like that. There it is. And then put a screw in. And it's away. Ho, ho, ho. The hose fixed. So that's one. Other ones I've done are things like this, like the broom. See the curve in the broom? It curves down, so it's nice and easy to handle. You don't want to have it curving off the side or anything like that. You've got to have it in this plane here, the curve. Now you'll notice here on the ends too, I've got a bit of bracing. This was a broom when I came here in this workshop. This was a uh, broom head that was just broken wasn't being used, so I just found a piece of this hazel, I've got a piece of tin, or iron, it is actually, steel with zinc coat on it there, put the bracing there and on the other side, and it's a really good solid broom, and I did the same with this one here, same sort of handle, nice curve, and this time I used this uh, metal brackets with holes in it, Americans call this plumber's tape. How it's called plumber's tape, I don't know, but anyway, that's what it is. And it works really well. And this is a shovel I fixed up like that. And I've got holes put in the ends here, of which you will see what I do with these holes. Okay, now let's get on to the heavier tools. I've got here a sledgehammer with a hazel handle once again. You put, make sure the curve is in that plane once again, not across. You don't want the curve coming out like that. You want it in that plane. And you notice I've got a piece of metal pipe put on the bottom here. Now what I did there, I welded a piece of pipe on the bottom there. The reason being that with a sledgehammer or a splitting axe, people normally shoot past the piece of the wood or the peg and they get smacked there and they always break there. Not like this, because the steel handles it. And then you just shake this down, bang it in, and you just one little simple screw there and it holds it on. So they are really sturdy. And that grain, I forgot to mention this before, the grain on this is really strong because the grain just continues all the way around instead of them shaping it into one cylinder, one straight cylinder like this, where the grain is not straight necessarily. The grain is followed through the curve, so they're a lot stronger. Very sturdy hammers. Now, these sort of hammers. These were um, broken lump hammers, or club hammers. I just welded a piece of half-inch pipe on the end there. Then I got a piece of inch... Um, tube, inch black water tube, and with my hot air gun here, I put this in the vise, got the hot air gun on a piece of plastic, 
heated it up and gradually hit it on. And it works really well. Then with an angle grinder, I put some twirls around here to hold it. And that plastic actually stops the shock too, which is really good. So this one here is a longer one for different sorts of jobs. It's a slightly bigger hammer. It's hard to use. You've got to use it like that sometimes. So it's really good having a big one like that. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to show you what I do to hang these up. <coughs> so you just follow me. There's a big nail up here. Hang them up here like that. And they are well out of the way. So that's them tidied out of the way. For these hammers here, Simple. These ones, they've got holes in the end too, but they belong outside in my other shed. So that's the story with hammers, that sort of thing, hanging them up, keeping them out of the way. So that's about it for the day. Um, so if you've got some old broken handles or that, go and fix them up, go to them, go and get some from the bush. If you live in cities, I don't know what you're going to do. Maybe it's a good excuse to go to the country and have a holiday. <laughs> go and get some saplings. Any questions or comments, put them down below. If you want to subscribe to my channel, subscribe away. That's about it for the moment. See you later.